expert exposes basic safety rules ignored in the hours before the elevator tragedy that killed a woman. CBS 2's Sean Hennessy shows us the city investigation results into what and who is to blame. The investigative report is damning, saying the death of ad executive Suzanne Hart was avoidable and laying the blame at the feet of Transel Elevator, a company the city says failed to follow the most basic safety procedures. It's really unfortunate that somebody had to lose their life, and yeah, it does make me nervous. Some workers at 285 Madison Avenue, where Hart's picture is on display, said the accident had them leery. Chris Medina's wife is among them. She's being a little more cautious, but pretty much back to, back to normal. Hart was crushed in December when an elevator shot up with the door still open as she was getting on. Under a grate in the elevator shaft, investigators found a wire they believe a Transel worker used to circumvent the elevator's safety circuit. Had the safety circuit not been bypassed, uh, the elevator would not normally uh, jump up and accelerate the way it did with the doors open. Transel was also cited for allowing the elevator to go back into service without waiting for a city mandated inspection. The elevator company isn't talking, but investigators have suspended the license of Transel's top official, John Fischer, of what they say is his company's carelessness cost a woman her life. It was a rare um, uh, incident. Um, but um, a tragic one and a frightening one. This report goes on to say that had the city been notified that an inspection was needed because elevators here had been worked on, any problems may have been detected. In Midtown, Sean Hennessy, CBS 2 News. And the findings have been turned over to the district attorney's office. The DA's office says it is investigating. It